Well, let's take one apart together and see what we got. Oh yeah, and this is uh, this is American, believe it or not. Um, what the hell is this? Three eighths. Oh, they're kind of long for. Take a look under here. I'm gonna get a rag down here in my muffler because I know oil is probably gonna come out of this. How much? I have no idea. Okay. There's four of them out. And oh, I'm gonna get my improvised hammer. Maybe I better get an improvised screwdriver. This is a screwdriver I made a long, long time ago for something on the transmission, but I used the living shit out of it. Wow. This bitch don't want to come off. Come on, baby. Don't break any of these balls. What the hell they do? Pull them on? Wow, Jesus Christ. They must they silicone them on. Wow. What a bunch of dicks. Hey, let's adjust the valves. Well, we can't. A little bite on that one now. Seems something's holding it from the bottom. There's no screws left in the bottom. Keep wiggling it a little bit. Maybe she'll come out. Yeah, they must use silicone. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, just a little bit of oil in there. Not much. Cool. Okay, we've got the cover off. Boy, they, they feel actually good. Oh my god, the push rod just fell out. Jesus Christ, don't push on that. The push rod just fall right out. Alright. Four to six thousand. Let's see. What do I got here? Eighteen. Four. Five. Five. Right, I got a five. Oh. Of course, I can't turn the key over. Can. And then I can't turn the freaking thing over there. Oh, here we go. I can't turn this over, though. That one's pushed down. Okay. That one's coming up. Kind of a bitch turning this thing over. Okay, that one's full release. There's no goddamn play in it, though. There's no play in it. How is there not any play in that? Is that possible? The valves can tighten up? That's awful unusual. These valves are really easy to push in and out. So if I was to push push in on this spring right here, the push rod falls right out of it. That's kind of scary when it did that. 
I don't know if I want to adjust that at all. I really don't think I want to. So that one pushes all the way down. And that comes back up. Well, that one just came back up. Why did this one come back up? Oh, there's my play. There we go. Aha! I found my play. Five fits in there. Yeah, so these are okay. This side's all right. All right. That answers that. What do they got? Oh yeah, they use silicone. That's what they used. I'll stick my rag in there and dry all that off and then I'll go over and there's not really much silicone on the case but there's there's a little bit around here I just want to scrape it off quick I should have brought a razor over with me as well I should have done So we got a brand new razor. I bought a, I bought a little case of them. I don't know, it was a hundred or two hundred in a case. There's little paper ones here. So I would just kind of just scratch off anything that could fall into the motor or whatever. A little bit on there ain't gonna hurt nothing. It ain't like I'm building a freaking dragster here, huh? Yeah, I remember them saying a certain point in the engine where it sits is where both valves, I would assume it's a compression stroke, um, get loose. And that's just what I saw. All right. That's pretty clean. I got the corner bent up a little bit right here. But I'm sure the screw will take care of that. And that's on the top anyways. So I'll put our gasket on there. Boy, look how they just look like really loose. Huh. But it does have play. It's got a little bit of play, each one. Guess I was worrying for no reason. I'll get a little bolts back in. I love it when gaskets and shit fit perfect on here, you know? So the other side's got that inlet pipe on it. I thought I heard this thing ticking a little bit, and I wasn't sure if it was or not. There. Make sure I get out the oil off underneath so I don't see a drip later. Okay, on the side two, we'll see what the hell's going on over here on this one. Bring my magic light around. Now we'll see what's going on to this side. I'll have to check them. Here. I got nothing else to do with them. Wanting to do this for a while. I was always curious about this tube, so I'll pull that off of here for now, and I'll get my bend the cover pry bar off here. Oh my God! Why do they freaking do this? I'm just bending the dog shit out of that cover. The hell else can I do? I mean, I know the way of doing it, I guess. And a beautiful hammer I'm using. There we go. Alright. I just have to fix that, that's all. 
Get off it, you sticky bitch. All right, not much oil in this one compared to the other one. I'm gonna grab my shit rag again. Clean this up. So this this just sticks in the hole like that. Must just use the puff puff of the engine. And while I'm here, I'm gonna just spit this gasket shit off. Get that off of there. If I leave a little bit on there, that's all right. That'll just add more sealer because that rubber squishy shit. I don't really see any big issue with it. But. Oh, that razor is sharp. Probably why they call it a razor. Yeah, I might end up having to get another tube for this. It'll yeah, because this is, this is dirty all the way around the whole sides and everything. And I don't know why. But, we'll clean it up. Make it look nice. This way I can tell if there's a leak later on. Which there shouldn't be. Now that I'm getting it really tight in there. And I can, I can tap this cover back down now. Oh, that was easy. Damn. Alright, cover straight now. Okay. These are both tight. So, rotate the engine. Okay, that one goes down. That one goes back up. And that one's back up. So there, now we're on a compression stroke. Alright, where's my gauge? And I am using a, uh, I don't know if you can see it on there, five thousandths gauge in there and it fits with a lot of drag so and this does too actually this is this one feels this one this is might be where the ticking's coming from this is more than five thousandths I think I don't know that seems like uh it's got a little bit more drag to it. The less drag, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, this side, for some reason, seems a tiny bit looser than the other side. What do you think? Should we play with it? Hey, look how loose that is. I know they're supposed to be loose, but that's... I think I'm going to get an Allen wrench, and I only want to turn it a tiny bit. Oh, did you think I wasn't coming back? All right. Yeah, this side, uh, size we got here. Nope. That frickin' metric. The goddamn cover nuts. No oh, shit, it's metric. The cover nuts aren't metric. Half inch. It's gotta be a 13 millimeter then. God, my toolbox is close. All right, is that a 13 millimeter? Let's see. Oh, I'm right. All right, that one's down. And that's a little bit loose. So that's metric also. Okay. Looks like I didn't even adjust it, didn't it? 
I did. Okay, there we go. Now it's tighter. Yeah, that's loose. Keep grabbing the wrong wrench, damn it. Stupid ass. Now watch how much I'm going to turn this Allen wrench. That's it. Didn't look like much, did it? See, so it's three to five thousandths. So I might have been one hair too much. Okay. Yeah, this shit's kind of touchy sometimes. Get in there. Okay, now this got drag on it. Perfect. I can push it in by hand and pull it out with quite a bit of drag on it. All right, that's it. Boy, it's pretty funny how loose they look, you know? Gun goes to cover. And then we're done. Another thing I don't like is this goddamn thing idles way too high. I don't like how high it idles. This, that's just me, I guess. Gotta move around all this shit here, gas line. Get out of the way. Cover on there. All right, get the bolt started. Stupid gas line. Yeah, this vacuum line here, once I've already trimmed it down because it cracked. And I've replaced this fuel pump already because I hit something with it and I broke the corner tab off, which didn't matter. I mean, it ran fine. But while I was at it, I got a new fuel filter on it. I've done so much maintenance of this shit that nobody ever does with a lawnmower. It's just ridiculous. You know, that's why it's lasted so long. It's 13 years. I haven't had a damn problem with this thing. I see something starting to go bad, I change it before it can go bad. So, we'll now start it. Make sure it still runs. I'll put Mr. Butt plug back on here. Hopefully nothing blows apart. Tick is gone. Yep. That tick I heard is gone. No shit. Sweet. Well, that's cool. I fixed the tick. I fixie the ticky. Well, anyways. That's it for me. And that's how you adjust the valves on your riding lawnmower. And I forgot to wipe this off. I was like, why is there oil under here? I forgot to wipe it off, you stupid dumbass. I know there's no oil pouring out of the bottom of this, so. All right, everybody. There's a, something I really didn't plan on doing today, but it's okay. That's what happens. It's just one less thing off my list now. I've had these gaskets for quite a while, so. And that tick's gone. You could clearly hear that tick. So. I'm going to take my flashlight and I'm going to slowly look around this engine and make sure I don't see any oil coming from any place. And then that's going to be it. So, anyways, take care. Don't go to the stores today. It's welfare day. In case you forgot. And uh, have a good one. I'll catch you later.